complain about um, rosters for Jesus. We are not rosters for Jesus. See, the naysayers and the haters out there and, and the wolves in Rastafari cl clothing will try to say this. Many of them already have said or alleged that we're talking about Jesus is Lord. You understand? Because we are ministering the true good news, the true gospel of the King of Kings and his Christ. And we're speaking about Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Now, for ones who are not really founded and grounded in Rastafari, in Rastafari teaching, and I, and I am, I'm not going to say afraid, but in, in the Pauline way, what Hawario Paolo said, I, I, I fear for you. You understand? I'm concerned, very concerned that folks who believe that we're dealing with a, a Rastas for Jesus, right? Rastas for Jesus, we are not. We are not Rastas for Jesus, you know? That is a point that the Gentiles and those who are in a Gentile white Western mentality will easily ask soon, right, and make you believe. In fact, most of us come from some sort of a, a Christian um, background, you know, here in the West, you understand, or a European, better yet, a Gentile Christian background, you know, blonde hair, blue-eyed, Caesar Borgias. Well, let's deal with the Caesar Borgias. Most people know about this guy, right, and therefore how it connects with the papacy. But then if we go a little bit deeper, right, if we go a little bit deeper, we recognize that actually there was Caesar, Right? Remember when the Jews said we have no God, um, I'm, I'm, excuse me, we have no um, king but Caesar? Now it's interesting because there's some videos out there, and we briefly began to address it. There's some videos out there, and there's even some um, um, black people, let's put it like that in a general sense, and especially those in the so called consciousness of the K. Right, the consciousness um, so-called community who seek to debunk right true Christina right or true Christianity because of the insanity of whitewash white supremacy right or or of white supremacy you know what I mean and um, now what I mean now in order to understand really what the Bible is saying some folks like this Reverend um, what's his name Reverend uh, What's the, what's the guy's name? That Reverend that that be talking about um 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 that Jesus or or Christianity was was created. He's basically regurgitating, right? Hagen, you understand this guy? Hagen, right? Hagen, Reverend Hagen or something like that. What's his first name? I forget his first name. Ray. Ray. There we go. Ray. You understand? And, and interestingly enough, you know. Um, there was a Babylonian name I was called by, and it was Ray, too, you know, the middle name. But anyway, part of it was Ray. But anyway, Ray Hagen. I mean, I mean, and there's a light of truth in what Ray Hagen is saying. You understand? But because we are in a, a Western Gentile mentality coming to us through the daughters of, of, of Babylon, you understand, of mystery Babylon, in other words, through the Protestant um, denominations, or like we say, the Protestant demon nominations, which, of course, rebelled from the Pope, but still are Popish, right, are Popish, right? And they also have adopted this, um, this, this counterfeit image right there, right, this counterfeit image, right? And this is why when you preach and proclaim the truth of, of the Ethiopianness, right, the Ethiopianness, and, and we're going from a from from John or Yahweh's perspective of Ethiopia, right? We're not talking about Ethiopia is an empire. First of all, the King of Kings is the King of Kings. That means that there are other kings, right? And therefore, it's an empire. So there's many different kind of peoples, right, within that particular empire. So when we talk about Ethiopians, we say we're Ethiopian Hebrews because we are Ethiopian Hebrews. Right? And as Ethiopian Hebrews, right, we trace ourselves to the very root of Christina or true Christianity, which is our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos. 
right? So folks will say, well, therefore you deal with Jesus. No, 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 no. See, you have to study and show yourself approved. And this is one thing I say to a lot of my, my, my brothers and sisters, since we do come from a, 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 a Christian, you know, some sort of, we have some sort of Christianity, right? We, we, we've been Christianized in some way or familiarized with um, Gentile, white, Western Christianity. Now, there's other folks who say, oh, that's racism. Jesus is not this color or that color or no color or whatever kind of color. You know, he's for everybody. You know what I mean? Unless you're really spiritually immature and you like it like that, we'll leave that one alone right there because it, that one doesn't even deserve any other really address or redress to it. And, and, and some of you all get stressed out. And we touch on the soul level. The soul level is so important. You see, real and true Christina, right, is about, is about knowing the truth. It's not just about be lie even, but it's knowing the truth. Now, there's a, there's a true level of, 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 of what they call belief, and, of course, that's faith. And, of course, that word is amen. How very interesting, amen. Like the ancient Egyptian um, a quote, God, end quote, right, called the Amen. And Yeshua HaMoshiach says, I am the Amen. So here we have a link with our Ethiopian root, right, and the ancient Egyptian fruit, all right. And this is why when they say that Moses, right, was learned in all the wisdom of the ancient Egypts, right, it wasn't like he was Charleston Heston, a white guy. But see, most folks still, you understand, Here's where they're crucified on. They're crucified on this particular point, right? Caesar, right? Caesar. And this thing goes so deep. When we talk about white supremacy, many of us have been thinking that this white supremacy thing is just maybe in the 20th, you know, in the 20th century, you know, with, with even this right here. This is another example of the same thing right here. You see it? You get it? You understand? You see how it breaks down so clearly, how the Selassie's War really um, the Italian or the Romanist, the tin pot Caesar named Mussolini, who was seeking to resurrect the Roman Empire, and from a biblical um, prophetic um, prophecy level of, of interpretation of the Bible, this is such an important, I mean, this is the crux, this is the cross of the very matter. Right? But before we get into this, let's just address a little bit more of why we say that we as Ras Tefari are not Jews for Jesus in order to um, get ahead of the naysayers out there. Right? Because there's a lot of naysayers out there, you know, who will tell you, well, there was no Jesus Christ. It was actually Julius Caesar. Because, look, J.C. is J.C. Um, I could call you jackass cuz, too. You know, that's J.C. as well, you know, but... That has nothing to do with the facts of the matter. Let's deal with the facts of the matter. And this is a very interesting book right here. Um, some of you all probably have seen it before, Rasta for I, right, the Itations of Jamaica, right, Rasta for I. I don't know if you've seen it before. And they have a very interesting, within this, they have a very interesting, um, you know, this is you know this this is this is who and what we're about right there. This is who and what we're about. We're about the King of Kings, right? About the true testimony of His Imperial Majesty. You get it? You get it? If you don't know, then then you need to learn, right? But see, there's a lot of wolves in sheep clothing out there. You know, they like the reggae music. They like some reefer, some marijuana. You know, they like the ice gold green. They like to see the daughters in the frock. You know. <laughs> And um, that's what it's about. But they're not about the teaching of his magic. not about growing in, in, in grace, right, growing in John's grace. It's about learning the half of the story that has not been told to them. Now, I want to show you this page right here, all right? Let's, let's understand this very carefully right here, okay? This is, you see, J-E, Jesus, right? Jesus, and often said Jesus, right? Now, I'm going to read this part here, but I'm, I'm just showing you this right here. This is some Iric words. Now, what's so shocking or interesting is that many of the nowadays Rastafari don't really know this basic teaching of Rastafari, right? And this is not just saying Jamaican Rastafari. No, this teaching of Rastafari. This, this gives us some basic, some basic definition of terms. So when we say 
Jesus, we're not speaking of the same one that the world calls, right, that the world calls, uh, let's see if we can get this right here, that the world calls Jesus, right? This is, this is the origin of your, of your Jesus, right? Your Jesus right there. That's your Jesus. When we say Jesus, right, we're speaking, about, we're speaking about him. We're speaking about the real one, right, our black Lord and Savior, right, the Ethiopian. Let's just understand that, you know, that's just like a basic, a basic understanding right here. This is who we're speaking about. We're speaking about the King of Kings. We're speaking about Revelation. Revelation reveals the truth. So let's read through this right here for a moment. And this is in a section called Linguistic Language Latitudes. Remember how to make a slave said take away from the, from, from the Hebrews, the, the Negroes, the niggers. Take away from them their language or their understanding of the language. Right? So the Queen's English versus the Emperor's Iyeric, right? And this is in praise, we can say, of, of the real Rastafari. Don't abbreviate your glory to Rasta. So even if we were inclined to it for Jesus' sake, we're not Rastas for Jesus, right? So we have Jesus or Jesus, Rastafari, Rastafari, and learn what that truly means. Know the pronunciation of Jesus as given by Babylon, confusion, Right, that mystery Babylon, that apostate and counterfeit um, church, the, 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 Gentile, the Gentile Christianity corrupted by Romanism church, given by Babylon, it conjures right, evil vibrations so that when people pray or think they are praying to God or the God of truth, the true God, they are really praying to the devil, right? This is why their prayers do not have the power to change the world and rid it of evil as the Isis, right, or Isis of Rastafari. And it's interesting that that connection, Isis, when we say give thanks and praises or give Isis, right, and they also have an Isis section right here. Let's see if we can bring this up as well, Isis. What does it say for Isis? Um, Isis. Where is it? Where is it right now? Isis. All right, we're, we're going to come forward to that in just one moment. There's, there's so much right here. We have to get, you know, get forward, return to the foundation. Because we want to build. We have to check what we're building on, right? We have to check what we're building on, right? So right here it says... Um, Satan, and, 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 and let's bring this up so you can see a, 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 a word, you know, a word pick of this, right? Let's take this off for a moment, right? Satan, right? Here, here we go. Right there, right? So Satan, right? Satan has tricked the simple, the unlettered people. My, the laity, you know, the Nicolaitans, the laity, the Nicolaitans, right, um, have tricked the simple, right, people into giving their prayers to him by making them call on Jesus, right, on Jesus. So who is this Jesus that people are talking about? Inevitably, they're speaking of Caesar Bogiers. They're speaking about him. Right? This, this, the counterfeit, the Antichrist. But then it links back to Caesar, what the Israelites said, we have no God, we have no king but Caesar. Right? We have no king but Caesar. Right? So, into giving their prayers to him by making them call on Jesus. Remember when the Bible says that every, every day his name is blasphemed in the Old Testament prophets? Right? Jesus, who is the devil's advocate, instead of to Jesus. Right, Jesus or Jesus, the Son of God, and this is basic Rastafari teaching. So we are not Rastas for Jesus, right? We're not Rastas for Jesus or Jebus or Jebusite, whatever. You understand that we are Rastafari, 
and Rastafari proclaims the good news, the gospel of his imperial majesty without any apology and without any uh, trichnology, right? It's just the truth, the truth plain and simple. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free.